What's up everybody, James here with another video for you, and today I have a brilliant video for you. I have, I finally have, as you can clearly notice, TF Prime, yes! So, let's get into it. Um, so, you know, this is, you know, sort of my haul video that I, that I'm doing, you know, just to show off some of the stuff that I got the other day. So here we have, TF Prime, wheel check. Oh yeah. Word of advice, if you're wanting to pick up one particular figure from the new Transformers Prime line, get this guy. Trust me, he's awesome. Oh yeah. We have the new... <laughs> Oopsie. Um, we have the new Robots in Disguise or Revealers Bumblebee. Actually, you're not a desperately bad figure. Um... Similar to Transformers Dark for the Min Deluxe Bumblebee, I feel that he's based really off Battle Blades Bumblebee, and you know, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But in a way, it feels it kind of does feel a little bit like the exact same figure again. Um, but nonetheless, not too bad. I love the Automorph feature that he has, and you know, if I actually show you here for a little second, um, you know, flip that up. Oh, oops. <laughs> his arm. Uh, so there's his car front, and boom, the entire thing implodes. And there you go. Explodes, actually. Sorry, not implodes. Um, so there you go. So I'll put Volby over to the side. And we'll move on to some of the other stuff before we get over to the rest. So I have brand two brand new paints. Whoa. Sorry, um, two new paints. An A5 sketchbook. So now will come in handy. And two new, two new little Lego figures. Mini figures, actually. Um. The one to the left of the camera is meant to be like a little Roman gladiator, I think. And the one on the right is a sort of like, you know, cowboy or western robber. You know, you can tell with the two guns. So, yeah. So, we have that, and we will move on to the newest of the Transformers collection. Other than these two, obviously. And we move on to the new Transformers Prime Cyberverse figures. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, if you could actually give me a moment. Um, sorry, I was just getting there. Um, but anyway, here we have Transformers Prime Cyberverse Bulkhead. Whoa. This guy is just filled with little details. And really for among one of the sm really among some of the smallest transformers ever, these new Cyberverse figures are actually incredibly impressive. And I'm saying that cuz I actually thought these were going to be pretty rubbish. But in the end, you can always be proven wrong in some form. But here we have Bulkhead, um super cool sort of dinky actually. Um, really amazing how they can actually cram so much detail into one microscopic figure. You know, if you have this little mace there, and you know, just overall impressed. Um, other than the giant gaping hole in his back. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's fix that up there, and we will move on to the Dark Lord of the Decepticons, Megatron. Oh yeah. Um, obviously, you do have these translucent weapons that you actually can remove and stuff, and you can still have the figures themselves. But um, Megatron is actually just pretty amazing. And if I actually move into, the, I you'll get a better view of Megatron that way. But um, I actually find that there is a lot of detail here. Um, pretty much. Almost the exact same as the TV show, so that's pretty impressive. Um, but the biggest difference, and if I actually take what was an old Legends figure, you know, um, for those, for any Transformers fans who were 
found before 2011, you will remember that we call these figures legends. So here we have Transformers Cybertron Legends Red Alert. Um, really, um, well I can't, this is a bit of an unfair size comparison because Megatron's really tall, but his arms, you know, Red Alert's arms only move up and down. They can only sort of just you know, move up at the highest point of the leg and pivot at the foot, because really there is no articulation at the at the legs at all. But on Megatron, his arms go forward, back, they go in and out, they rotate and pivot 360 at his arm, at his elbow, sorry, and you know, move in any way whatsoever. And the legs can go forward and back, they can go in and out and bend at the knee. So there's a lot more articulation in the Transformer Prime Cyberverse figures than there previously were in, I think, the Dark of the, Ma Dark of the Moon um, Cyberverse figures. Ugh, sorry. Thing. Mm, tongue twister. <laughs> um, but, but here we have Megatron with his amazingly cool blade. So yeah, this is actually incredibly accurate to the TV show. Um, and Megatron himself is amazing and accurate as well. So we'll put him over there. Get rid of red alert. And I think that's about it. Um, let's check on my phone here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I got Angry Birds for my phone. Um, if you are using an Android phone like I am, you can go into the um to the Android market and you can actually download these. But even the coolest part before you go into the game is if you actually select one of the little floating pigs that are around here. Wait for another one to get back here. Oh, whoops. In fact, if you... Oh, wait. No, I'll wait for another one to show up. Check this out. You can even... You can actually select the pigs. They freeze and they head into the start button. So that was... So that's actually really, really funny. And um, you can go into the game. You know, you can select whatever level you want, but it's a uh, it's a little tricky to get it to actually move first. But um, this I will actually be reviewing this game in my James's Apps series. If you want to actually go and check out the first episode of it, I did the Annoying Orange um, Kitchen Carnage game on it, so there is that. Um, and that's it for now. Um, really, I, I can't really tell if I'm missing anything. Um, I know, sorry, the light's really bright behind me. And I actually have the blinds closed as well, so, um, yeah, that, that's probably it for now. Um, so, all already, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior. Subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 2020 Junior. Please, please check out my Night Slash 2020 Junior Facebook page. It's awesome. Um, you know, just go check it out and whatever. And until next time, see you around, everybody, and have a nice day.